All right, so I wanted to show you this this program here, and it's called the SVG Viewer. And this right here is the SVG Previewer window. Now, what will this do for you? So basically, it will search an entire directory that you specify, and it will pull out all the SVGs, and it will list them right here. And we will be able to click on those SVG files, and you'll see a little preview window here. Now, what, what makes this great is we, we'll take this folder that we see over here, okay? And a, as you can see, there's, there's really no way for you to see what all is exactly in that directory with one quick little preview shot. There's no way to see what that what nested shape, you know, 4 is without actually opening up the folder and possibly going here to like a uh, gallery type of view and in, you know increasing the preview and j just to try to see what what that is you know so this this program here will help assist you in navigating and finding your SVGs that you would like now mac users will actually typically get to see a little preview of the SVG windows users on the other hand will not and this program will help you window users as well as you Mac users in order to assist you with what your file actually looks like. So let, let me let me go ahead and demonstrate this first with the program. All right, so in order to tell the program what directory you need to search for, you can either do two things. You can either hit the import directory button here and you can decide what what directory for it to search in or you can go the easier route which is drop and drag. Okay, so I'm basically going to drop and drag this folder here, and it's going to search the entire directory, subdirectories, for all the SVGs that are in it. So right there, it just pulled out 10 quick SVGs. And in order to get a preview of it, like I said, all you have to do is click on the SVG name itself, and you'll see a quick little preview. Okay, so say we were interested in you know, nested mat 8. I have no idea where that is. You know, I can even close out this window here because I'm done with it, and I'm like, where can I find this really quick? Well, it's really easy. All you have to do is click this little eyeball, and it will find that directory. It will highlight that file so that now you know where it is and how you can get it into your cutting program or your editing program of choice. All right, so there's another cool thing with this software is say you wanted to organize the file here and you, you don't always want to open this program in order to, to view them which is fine but you wanted to get a quick little PNG preview in that directory whenever you go to it so all you have to do is you, you click this right here and you click the save PNG and when you do that you'll see this little message here it says the image has been exported to the folder containing the SVG file Okay, and we name it the exact same thing that your SVG is named. So let's check out how that worked. And we'll just go view SVG in folder. And you'll notice that we have nested mat 8 SVG. And that way you now have a quick little image preview of that file. Now like I said, Mac users, they, they typically get an SVG preview automatically. The Windows users... Uh, will not typically new browsers will be able to open up SVG so you can get a quick preview that way but like I said this this program here you can just import the directory and it will find all the SVGs for you one quick screen and you can find the the nested shape that you want in this example and you just click view SVG in folder and it will find it for you so this is a great little utility tool for those wanting to get a little more out of your SVG finding. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick little overview of the SVG viewer. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. All right. Thanks for watching this quick little tutorial.